Today we have a look at Big Boy Toys, Bandit Goes Crazy, and Arizona Land. Will Papa buy some Arizona Land, and should he? It's all part of another great day in Lake Havasu City. So come along with Bandit and me for some FUN. And I put two of Bandit's favorite bacon flavored treats in it and put it down on the floor to see what he would do. <laughs> Well, get it, Bandit. Oh, Papa, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to dig a hole here, and that's not working. I, I don't know what to do. I'm barking my head off, and that's not working. Uh, what, how, what am I supposed to do, Papa? This is kind of crazy. Well, you just have to figure it out. Yeah, you have to figure it out. Well, get it. Well, get it. It's yours if you get it. Get it? Well, get it? Well, Papa, I know where that treat is, and I want it so bad, but, but I'm just having some trouble getting it. Well, keep trying. Well, here's a, an example of problems in the desert. <laughs> my name's Papa Dale. I do a, a little YouTube channel for my kids and my grandkids. And this is something that we don't see very much of up in Seattle. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, what's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Papa Dale. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. What part of Tacoma do you live in? I was around. Or did you? Around? Yeah. I I still have property up in Yelm. You know Yelm? Yeah. Yelm. Can we go live on it? Ah, well, you could come camp on it. <laughs> it it's all... Oh, you're going to try to start it? <laughs> Woohoo! Well, I hope this guy coming slows down. Well, it looks like a lot of fun, but it also looks like a lot of work. <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> moving, moving from there, somewhere around there. Aha. Ah, uh, well, why go to the expense, right? Well, nice to meet you. Well, there you go. That's uh, using the uh, dirt machines in. Have a Sioux City. <laughs>
This is a view from the property at Navajo Drive between Kingman and Oatman. It's about 30 minutes from each of those towns and about an hour from uh, Lake Havasu City or Las Vegas. The property is five acres. It's on the corner right here of, I can't remember the name of that road, but this road is Navajo Drive. It's uh, uphill, about uh, about 10% uh, of it, the last 10% is uphill to the road. And there's two ways into a flat pad where a, a mobile home once resided. You can go down this way or right off of Navajo Drive. There's another roadway down. Access to the property would be here off of Navajo Drive. At least that would be the easiest access to the property. Straight up Navajo Drive. And then straight down into the residential portion. Seeing wash on the neighboring property about uh, 20 yards behind the property line of the property I'm looking at. And uh, it's a pretty significant wash. Imagine in the wintertime it rages pretty good. It's got lots of big boulders and cliffs and such. Wouldn't really affect the property that I'm looking at though other than it might be an interesting place to come and visit during the monsoon season. Look at, uh, look at this section right here, for example. This is, uh, it's very interesting, yeah, very unique, very different from anything I've really experienced before. The uh, wild donkeys have been down here. I can't remember the story of how it came to be that there are wild donkeys living in this part of Arizona. I think they came in with miners and uh, got loose somehow. Well, I'm getting attacked by bugs here. Not so much biting bugs, but I don't know, they're they seem to be scavenging something off of me, attracted to something off of me. Well, here's the uh, here's the road that is the 
westernmost boundary of the property I'm looking at. A couple of things about this property that I was surprised about. The first one is these black wires, which look like heavy-duty electrical wires to me. I don't, uh, don't really know. The thing that really surprised me is this. This looks like water to me. And uh, I don't know if they have a well. The information about that didn't make it into the listing. Or, or what? But uh, there's also a concrete slab there that's about three to four inches thick which uh, may may cover the well I don't know but uh, boy if uh, if those things turn out to be usable then what a buy for this piece of property five acres yeah so kind of interested in looking into those things ha ha I found one of the markers on the property I'm looking at how about that but I'm not gonna walk the whole property again looking for the other three <laughs> Well, Bandit doesn't really like that wild donkey very much. <laughs> He's going nuts What was that? Huh? What was that? Papa, I don't know what it was, but I want to bite him. You want to bite him? Yeah, Papa, I want to go bite him. Let me out of here so I can go bite him, Papa. It's a wild donkey. He probably weighs about 12 or 1300 pounds. I don't care, Papa. I'm bandit the bad, and I can go get him. No, I don't think so, bandit. We're not doing that today. Sorry. If you've watched more than one Papa and the Bandit video, isn't it about time you subscribe now? Click the button coming up and the bell to be notified of future videos. Then click one of the cards to check out some of our other videos. Thanks so much for watching. We truly appreciate you. Okay, here come the buttons. Time to click now. <laughs>